Scott Frost, who kind of made – you remember him? I, I do, but, I mean, it, it's, it's kind of in the rearview mirror. Mickey Joseph is trying to do whatever he can. And it's still, you know, again, it's an uphill battle. So the USA Today sued Nebraska – uh, after its custodian of records was denied by a reporter's request for the metrics. The newspaper contended the information should be public under state law. Eventually, a district judge said, no, you have to release the information. You have seven days to do it. One of... He took a billion-dollar pay time, cut. Paul, how simple would it have been for him to get the million dollars back? Uh, win six games, go to a bowl game. That's all I had to do. It wasn't like they said, go eight and four. Well, I don't know. Play for the Big Ten Championship. Here, here's why I don't understand. I guess you don't want to release contract stuff, but I don't understand why USA Today had to take this to court for this. Like, this is kind of embarrassing on Nebraska's part of, I mean, why don't you just tell them that? Just send it the information. To me, it's not protecting Frost, Craig. Well, I mean, I don't really have a strong opinion on this. Yeah. Uh, like, I mean, they said, like, you know, they requested these records um and they got denied and then nebraska said that it was a moot point because he was already gone so what's the big deal and i don't really have a strong opinion on that whole exchange um but it's interesting to see you know the information released as it was not asking him to give up a leg it was asking nebraska to win six win go six and six on a schedule that was very favorable for them and get to a bowl game which you would if you get to six and six right now they're three and four they blanked the bed in the opening game against Northwestern. There was the onside kick decision. They also lost at home to Georgia Southern. We're seeing a little bit more of that between schools at that level compared to some Power 5 schools. They, I mean, they were okay in the loss just last week um, in a game they could have won against Purdue, but Purdue just had too much firepower. Asking them to go six and six was not asking too much, and he couldn't do six and six. And that's why I think Trev Alberts, the AD, saw, okay, listen, we've just lost to Northwestern, and we absolutely made terrible decisions. And I don't know if Northwestern's won since then, maybe once, and we lost at home to Georgia Southern. This is not going to get to six and six. We got to make a decision. And they did, and he's gone, and that's it. And I don't know what Mickey Joseph gets later on. Who gets that job? But they at least are playing uh, what seems like still not as good, but it, there seems to be a rhyme and a reason. Yeah, I, I don't know. I I don't know why Nebraska really hesitated to release the information. Um, I also don't think it's that big of a deal to you know expect a coach to go to a bowl game, uh, given all the resources and the expectations in Nebraska. So, uh, yeah, I mean, had he gone 6-6, six and six, uh, Gone to to a bowl game, shown some improvement, and we're probably talking about something different right now. Obviously, but uh, unable to to really give the the hope that they were going to be going in that direction, or unable to to do it, you know, and show enough. And and they made the decision that they made, and I think that everybody's, you know, pretty fine with the decision they made. I mean, it was inevitable. It was inevitable. We were talking about it before the season even started, and then they come stumbling out of the gates, and it's like, well, what did anybody expect? I, I just don't know why it's like a cloak of secrecy. I don't either. Um, because it's really not that big of a deal yeah, at all. Was... It's like, it's that's why I'm kind of sitting here like, you wanted to make it, okay, like, I don't see anything wrong with wanting to make a bowl game and expecting that out of the coach you're paying a lot of money, so... Uh, yeah, uh, that's that I, seems reasonable. I, I just don't like. That's why it's six and six. And you're going to lose game. that battle anyway. Yeah, right? they're going to lose the battle in court. Freedom of information, public state institution. Why they wasted like a lawyer's time? That like their own lawyer's time on that. I will never know because it doesn't make sense. Just tell us. It wasn't like it was something weird, right? It wasn't something that was outside the realm. Maybe they just didn't know he had such a low bar to clear. That he didn't even do that. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. guess I, I understand wanting the information to know exactly how it all unfolded. So when you're writing the book one day, you have like the exact exchange and how that went. But like as far as what that uncovered, uh, nothing. nothing, nothing. Like yeah. I mean, I mean, nothing not murder. nothing. But yeah, as far as like, oh wow, like I definitely don't have that reaction uh, in any way. So I'm glad that they're you know able to kind of. I guess not put this behind. This is a blip on the radar, but I'm glad that, you know, that's out there now. It's not a, not a big deal. And, you know, it's one less thing to have to worry about talking about when it comes to Scott Frost and they can keep going in the direction of, of making the change that they're, you know, keen to, to make right now and, and are in the process of trying to make, although there's still a half a season left to go. They've been, 
their coach has been gone for what a month now, and yeah. there's still another, you know, two months to go before the season's uh, even to the postseason stretch of the schedule. So, uh, I'm curious to know kind of what their timetable is, and you know, really get into the meat of of who they're looking at and how all that's going to unfold. But yeah, as far as the Scott Frost chapter, I mean, that's it's even done. more closed now, and. I don't think anything uh, too crazy is going to be coming out of this one. Somebody brought up in the chat, by the way, too. Lane plays Memphis, 